back guys. Video 23 of once a week today. I'm Billy Gianlutis. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I wanna bring up a message that I heard a few months ago. From someone I look up to. Someone I've learned a great deal from and someone I hope to meet personally someday. And that is Tony Robbins. And that message is this. See things as they are, but not worse than they are. See things as they are, but not worse than they are. That message has helped me out so much in just keeping a level head and whatever comes up in the twists and turns of life. And the reason why I wanted to mention it in today's video is because I'm pretty sure it can help out a lot of people too who have never even thought about it. Because what is that message saying? Simply, don't blow things out of proportion. But we all do this. Some of us more than others, right? <laughs> Because when you're in the heat of the moment, isn't it tough to keep a level head? Heck, even when it's not in the heat of the moment, it's tough to keep a level head. Whether someone does something to upset you, someone hurts you, you're facing a problem and you don't know what to do to solve it, or a situation or obstacle is in your way for making progress or continuing to move forward with whatever it is you're working on, it's tough, isn't it? It's annoying too. Because our minds tend to inflate the problems or obstacles we face in life. Some of us get anxious when these situations come, and then our minds create even more problems or thoughts that will probably never even happen. The problem went from being something you could probably overcome to this huge giant problem that you don't even want to look at or deal with because finding the answer seems so tough or so out of reach, right? But that's doing what? not seeing things as they are, but making things out to be worse than they really are. People get stuck. People stop moving forward on what they want to do. People get emotional. People get angry. People get anxious. All because they let their minds run wild and inflate the problem and blow it out of proportion. Like I said, we all do this. And that's why I wanted to make it this week's message. Because if I can bring some light to this for you, it becomes real. And if it becomes real, you become conscious of it. And when you become conscious of it, you can start to stop your mind from running wild and inflating problems out to be worse than they really are. Your fears won't stop you anymore. Your emotions won't stop you anymore. The problems won't seem as big anymore because you have a different perspective of the problems now. The perspective you should have always had. And that being that, there is an answer to the problem you are facing no matter what that problem is. But when your perspective is clouded and you are seeing things as worse than they are or blown out of proportion, usually an answer is nowhere in sight. But it is there. You just need to see things as they are, but not worse than they are. I have one more point to this week's video. I want to explain a situation that goes hand in hand with this idea. You see, one of my good friends came to me with a problem that he needed help with. Now, out of respect for him, I said I wouldn't use his name or go over the actual problem. But let's just say he made the problem out to be bigger than it really was. When in actuality, it had a simple fix when courage was added to the situation. Something I'm sure most of us can relate to with our own problems. But with my friend, we went over the problem until he came to the answer that he needed. Then I asked him the same question I'm asking you right now. Where do the Giants live? I'm not talking about the New York Giants or the San Francisco Giants. No. The real Giants in life. Where do they live? In here. We make things out to be bigger than they really are. Worse than they actually are. Tougher than it really is. We make obstacles, problems, situations, fears out to be giants in our heads. When in actuality, they are all something we can overcome. You have the strength and the power to overcome any obstacle or situation that is in your way. If you see it as it is, but not worse than it is. The giants we create out of the situations we come across will fall the second we stop blowing them out of proportion and giving them power over us. Just like the story of David and Goliath, the stones inside your hand might be small, but just watch the giants fall. And they will, 
the second you change your perspective, you got this. You always have. You just need to start to see it that way. Until next week, guys.